everyone, welcome. My name is Sam and today I'm going to be leading you through a 60 minute all levels heart opening sequence. So lots in store today. So if you have some blocks, go ahead, grab your blocks because you may need them, you may not, and that's fine too, but prepare yourself because you might. So two blocks and if you don't have blocks, I recommend grabbing books or anything that's sturdy that you can bring the earth closer to you, okay? And if you have a bolster, a pillow will do as well. Go ahead and grab those things and also grab a blanket. This is for later on, but go ahead and make sure that they are nearby you for when the time comes. And we're gonna start today by lying down on our blocks. So you're gonna take your two blocks or your books and you're gonna set them up as such. So the one towards the back edge of your mat is gonna be on the lowest height, the first height. So not the second, not the highest, lowest height, okay? It's gonna be horizontal on the mat. Then you're gonna take your second block, place it right underneath just a couple of inches on the second height, okay? So again, not the lowest, not the highest, second height. And you're gonna place that along the midline of your mat, vertical to the center line. Once you get these set up, you're gonna bring the backs of your hips towards that block. This may take a moment to adjust, so know that it may feel a little funky doodle at first, but essentially, you're gonna lay down on that block so that it's right in between the shoulder blades and the base of the block is at the base of your rib cage. Okay, so you'll set that down and you'll come to lying down on it. This is a pretty deep thoracic spine opener here. So if you find that this is too much on your body, you could just get rid of it and grab your bolster instead. So this is an option for those who have what they consider a stiff back or maybe you just had a long week. You could also, by bringing the backs of your hips to that bolster, lay down on the bolster. So it's still opening the front of the chest and rib cage. But if it's available to you, start with the box. Again, it may take you a moment to get settled in and find that place where you can start to settle down on that block. Rest your head on the block behind you and then bring your arms down to a low V. You may want to start with your feet propped up on the floor, and that's fine. But if it's available to you, extend the legs down and long, heels as wide as the mat. Relax the body. Begin to settle in. Releasing some of your effort. As you begin to welcome yourself to your practice. Give yourself permission to fully be here for the next several minutes so that this time becomes a time where you can nourish yourself, where you can come back to pressing things in your life or day-to-day -day activities later on. So you don't have to push away any of those things if there are things on your mind or on your heart. Acknowledge that those things are there. Then take a deep breath in. Then exhale all of it out. Soften the body. Relax what can be relaxed. Drawing the senses into the breath. Watching the belly rise and fall. And the ribs opening and expanding. And on each exhale, relaxing a little deeper, molding over your props. We'll be here for about another 30 seconds. So keep focusing on the breath. Inhaling expansive spaciousness 
in the body. And with each exhale, softening, relaxing, and releasing. back to the body. Wiggle your toes, wiggle your fingers, and slowly press up to seated. Take it nice and easy. Remove one block to the side out of your way, and then grab your other block. And come back to lying down on your back in a supine position. So belly up, set your feet onto the mat, Feet about hip width apart and walk your heels close into you, okay? Toes are parallel, facing straight on to the bottom edge of the mat. You're gonna press into your heels and feet, scoop the tailbone and hips up, place your block on the second height, not the lowest, not the highest, second height, right underneath your sacrum. And so the sacrum is that flat surface area behind the hips. If the block is too far up the spine, oh, it's not gonna feel good at all. If the block is too far down towards the tailbone, there's just a sensation of no support. So take a moment, find that flat surface area behind the hips. And if you find that this is too deep for you, if the body's like, hold up, I can't do that, then bring the block down a height. You can always do that. I recommend waiting a few breaths before going any deeper. So you may find that you want to go deeper and set the block higher. That's fine too. But let's take a moment to start here. And to really find the alignment of the feet and legs. So knees somewhere over the ankles. Arms down and long by the sides. Chest towards the chin. Chin towards the sky. Nice long spacious neck. And again, coming back into the breath. We'll be here for about eight rounds of deep breathing in through the nose and out through the nose. Staying rooted in the breath. Extend the right leg down and long so that the toes face out towards the sky, heel presses into the mat. Breathe deep into the front of the right hip. And you're welcome to stay here if your body's speaking loudly to you and the breath is starting to get tight. Pause here. If you would like to go deeper, Bring the left heel up away from the mat and walk the toes back. Take your left hand to your left foot and draw the toes back so that the top of the foot comes down to the floor and the knee reaches forward and down. So you're taking a bit of a quad stretch here. And then returning back to the breath. Five deep breaths in through the nose and out through the nose. Relax the jaw, relax the face, three more breaths. Slowly step 
the left foot back onto the mat, and then step the right foot back. Going to the other side, left leg down and long heel digs into the mat, toes reach back. Pausing here, breathing deep, feeling the body, and then deciding for yourself, can I go deeper? And if that is a yes, or you want to explore that, take it slow, nice and easy, being kind with the body and gentle, taking five deep breaths wherever you choose to be. Notice if you're tightening up, can you relax some of your effort? A couple more breaths. And then slowly release. Step both feet onto the mat. Press into your feet. Lift your hips. Tailbone curves towards the sky. And remove the block to the side. Keep the hips lifted. Interlace the fingers underneath your sacrum and walk the shoulder blades closer together. If that's not available to you, keep the arms down onto the mat on either sides of the body. Palms down. Lifting the chest up towards the chin, look up towards the sky. Press down into the feet. Hug the inner thighs towards one another. Last deep breath. Slowly release your bind and roll down the spine one inch at a time. Relax the hips along the floor and step the feet as wide as the mat. Place your hands wherever is comfortable and take some windshield wipers with the knees side to side. Begin to incorporate the head and neck. Looking in the opposite direction of the knee, side to side. Come back to stillness. Hug the knees and towards the chest. Draw circles with the knees one way. to rock and roll up and down the spine, massage the back body, and eventually finding your balance. Coming to Navasan, boat pose, tilting onto the hip, sit bones, heart is opening, reach the hands up and forward. So if this is a lot for you, you can always grab the backs of your thighs to help support you. Or next option to go deeper is to straighten from the backs of the legs and knees. Lift the heart. Take three deep breaths. Last full breath. Knees into the chest. Rock and roll up and down the spine. Gaining enough momentum to come all the way up and forward to all fours, hands and knees. Take a moment here to align your tabletop position. So shoulders over the wrist, shoulder width apart, knees underneath the hips, hip width apart. Spread the fingers wide. Press the tops of the feet and toes firmly into the mat. Press the mat away. Hug the belly in and up, brace the spine. Taking some cat and cows. Inhale, begin to tilt the tailbone. Drop the belly, open the heart, forward, look up. On your exhale, curve the tailbone, round the spine, chin to chest. Inhaling to open. And exhaling to close.
next time you round the spine, press the sit bones back to the heels, come to child's pose, arms reach out and long, forehead rests to the mat. Breathe deep in between the shoulder blades and roll the outside edges of the arm bones down towards the mat so that the bicep begin to roll upwards. Full activation in the arms and fingers spread them wide. Take three deep breaths. On your next inhale, rounded spine, rise up into cat. Exhale, drop the belly, cow. Bound forward halfway, lower halfway, elbows hug in. Use an inhale, push up. Exhale, round your spine. Tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Hips lift up and back. Begin to pedal the feet, bend one knee at a time. Stretch the backs of the legs. Feel free to wiggle the hips. Or stay in stillness even. Coming back to center. Lower down, all fours. Bring the feet together, knees together. Sit back onto the heels. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, interlace the hands behind your low back. Inhale, open the chest, look up high. Exhale, bowing forward and down. Forehead reaches down. Knuckles reaching up and over. So if you're finding that this is really challenging on your shoulders, you can always grab a sock, or if you have a strap at home, you can hold on to the strap. Remember, we're not trying to go super deep. Just meeting ourselves where we are, honing the breath in with the body, body with the breath. Last full breath here. Use the support of your inhale, rise up. Exhale, release the hands, reach them up, and all fours. Inhale, cow, drop the belly. Exhale, cat, to child's pose. Inhale, rounded spine, rise up. Exhale, cow, bound forward, lower halfway. Inhale, push up. Exhale, round, tuck the toes under, downward facing dog. Step the feet together, big toes touching, press the heels back and down, reach the chest back. On your inhale, right leg reaches back and up. Exhale, open the hip, bend the knee, draw the heel close. Step the right foot in between the hands, lower the back knee, untuck the back toes, Use your inhale, rise up. Exhale, open the elbows wide, squeeze the shoulder blades back, look up. Inhale, arms reach up, palms turn to face one another, and exhaling, open. Inhale, lifts, look up. Exhale, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Inhale, up. Exhale, squeeze. Pause here. Gently activate your left glute, so gently squeeze it. Roll the right hip crease back, and allow the hips to sink forward and down. Take three deep breaths. Inhaling arms up. Exhale, hands to frame the front foot. Coming to baby scorpion, sweep the right leg back and up, lower the left forearm down. Tent the right fingertips up. Shoulder shrug away from the jaw, firm down into the mat. Option is stay here, or if you wanna challenge yourself, tuck your back toes under, shift the weight over, and slowly reach the right hand back and up to the right foot. Last 
last full breath. Slowly release, come to all fours, hands and knees. Taking our vinyasa, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, to child's pose. Inhale, rounded spine, rise up. Exhale, cow, bound forward, lower halfway. Inhale, push up. Exhale, round, downward facing dog. Exhaling deeply. Step the feet together. Big toes touching, press the heels back and down. Reach the chest back. So it's okay if your heels don't touch down all the way, just the intention of reaching them back. You may even need to soften into the knees a bit. When you're ready, inhale, left leg sweeps back and up. Exhale, open the hip, bend the knee, draw the heel close. Left foot in between the hands. Lower the back knee, untuck the back toes, reach the arms up high. Take an inhale here. Exhale, open the chest, squeeze the shoulder blades back, elbows, fingers wide. Inhale, arms up, look up. Exhale, open. Couple more. Next time, pause. Activate your right glute, gently squeeze it. Brace the belly in and up. Sink the hips a little deeper. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands to the mat. Baby scorpion, sweep the left leg back and up. Lower the right forearm down. Tent the left fingertips up. Here, I'll move that so you can see. The option is stay here. This is really challenging. Just pause and breathe here. If you want to go deeper, tuck the back toes under. Slowly reach the left hand back and up to the left foot. Slowly release all fours. Taking the vinyasa, inhale, cow. Exhale, cat, to child's pose. Inhale, rounded spine, rise up. Exhale, cow, lower halfway. Inhale, press up. Exhale, round, downward facing dog. Lower the knees, come to all fours. On your inhale, right leg sweeps back and up. Exhale, left arm reaches up and forward. Turn the thumb to the sky, hug the bicep in towards the face. Draw the belly in and up. Take an inhale here. Exhale, rounded spine, elbow to knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, curl. Three more. Or you're welcome to stay in stillness. you reach and lengthen pause bend the back knee take the left arm up and back to the right foot so if this is as far as you can go great that's fine if not if you can't even get the foot no big deal just reaching just reaching opening the chest extending energy out through the fingers if you do grab the foot turn the chest towards the front of the mat like a bow, press the foot in the hand, hand up and back into the foot, open the chest, look up and forward. And release. Really good. Inhale, cow. Exhale, cat. To your child's pose. Inhale, round and spine, rise up. Exhale, cow. Lower halfway. Inhale, push up. Exhale, cat. To downward facing dog. Take a deep inhale in. And a deep exhale out. Again, deep breath in. Deep exhale out. Lower the knees. Come to all fours. Going to the other side. 
Inhale, left leg sweeps back and up. Exhale, right hand up and forward thumb turns to the sky. As much as you're reaching and lengthening in both directions, hug the arm bone and leg bone back into the socket. Hug the belly in and up. Take an inhale here. Exhale, round elbow to knee. Keep going. Remember, if you're having trouble breathing, just pause in stillness. You don't have to go fast. And you can explore one place versus the other rather than moving them. Last time. Next time you reach and lengthen, pause. Bend the back knee. Right arm up and back. Maybe this is as far as you go. That's okay. Just keep reaching, reaching, reaching. If you can grab the foot, awesome. Maybe this is as far as you go, that's fine too. Last option, turn the heart forward. Press the foot back into the hand, hand into the foot, open the chest. Are you breathing? And release. Curl the spine, sit back into child's pose, relax. Take five deep breaths. And just notice how you're feeling in this moment. Is your heart beating really fast? Feel a little bit hot, maybe a little sweaty? Just checking in. Begin to deepen the breath. Take a deep breath in and deep breath out. Take another deep breath in and side out. Come up to all fours, hands and knees. Option to take that vinyasa or take a vinyasa of choice. We're gonna meet in downward facing dog. Step the right foot in between the hands. Lower the back knee. Turn the left toes to face the right side of the mat. Come up to rise, warrior two. So this is a beginner warrior two stance. You can always take a traditional warrior two. For the sake of height for this video, I'm gonna kneel, okay? All right, take your right elbow to your thigh, left arm up and over. Shrug the shoulder away from the ear, open the chest. Use your inhale, come all the way back up. Exhale, up and back to the back side of the mat. Bend a little deeper in the front knee. And release the top hand down. Walk your hands to the long side of the mat and walk your front foot long. Face the toes towards the long side of the mat and ground the heel down. Inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, up and over. Use your inhale, come all the way back up, just like before. Exhale, yes, just like before. Back hand down, top hand reaches up. Look down towards your bottom hand, firm it down. So stabilize the arm as you shift the weight over to the left hand and leg. Reach the right leg up. Open the body, look up high if it's available. Next option. Take the knee towards the chest, bring the hand to the ankle, and then again, like a bow, opening up. Keep the heel pulled in here, hug it in close. Roll the shoulder blades together, look up high. Option to bow the back leg. Step 
slowly coming out, inhale, oh, exhale, release, very good, come back to the front edge of the mat, option to flow through your vinyasa, or come straight back to downward facing dog, that's where we're going to meet, take a deep breath in when you're ready, and sigh it out. Again, deep breath in, and exhale it out. Step the left foot in between the hands, lower the back knee, and tuck the back toes. I'm going to pause so that you can see. I'm going to turn to the other side. Here we go. All right, once you're here, turn the right toes to the left side of the mat. Come to a kneeling warrior two, or warrior two. Either will work. Front knee over the front ankle. Left elbow to your left thigh. Right arm up and over. Shrug the shoulder down. Rotate the heart towards the sky. Inhaling, come all the way back up. And exhale, right hand down to the mat, left arm up and over, bend a little deeper in the front knee. Use your inhale, come all the way up. All right, straight in the front leg, turn the toes to the long side of the mat, hands come down to the floor, okay? Or whatever way that makes sense to you to get here. Toes and heels seal down. Use your inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, up and over. Inhale, up. And exhale, right hand to the floor, left arm high, open the wingspan, reach up long through the fingers. Then look down at your right hand. Make sure it's right underneath your right shoulder. Stabilize it. Press away from the floor. As you shift the weight over, bring the left leg up. Option two, look up high. If you're finding this challenging, just breathe here. Meet yourself where you are today. Next option is to bring the knee towards you. Take the ankle and then open. Hug the heel in close. Next option would be to press the foot into the hand, open the chest. Slowly release. Come back to the front edge of the mat. All fours, option to flow or knee to straight back to downward facing dog. Take a deep breath in and exhale it out. Step the feet together. Inhale, look up halfway. Bend to the knees. Exhale, step, float or hop to the front edge of the mat. Inhale, look up, lengthen the spine. And exhale, bow down. Shake the head yes. Sway it no. Draw figure eights with the crown of the head. Reverse. Clasp by their elbows, sway side to side. You can bend into your knees as much as you need to here so that your belly is lying flat over the thighs. You can also widen your stance or even use your blocks to help support you. Bring the hands down to the blocks or to the earth. Begin to bend and straighten one knee at a time. Allow the head to remain heavy, neck is soft. Breathing deep. Inhale, look up halfway. Lengthen the spine. Shift your weight over to the right foot. Have the left heel towards the left sitting bone. Kind of like you're a flamingo, if it were. Slowly step the left foot to the back edge of the mat. 
Turn the heel down so the toes are slightly forward. If you have blocks, if you're using them, set them up on either side of the front foot. Keep a, front, a bend in the front knee. As you're here, look up halfway. Roll the right hip bone back, left hip bone forward. Then begin to press into the right leg and foot. Straighten the leg. Keep the hips swiveling towards one another so you're squaring the hips forward. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, bowing down. Head heavy, chin towards the chest. Make sure you're keeping a micro bend in the front knee, especially if you're hypermobile or flexible. When you engage the body and engage the muscles, it actually tells the body, hey, it's safe to go deeper, okay? Last couple of breaths. Inhale, looking up. Exhale, left hand to the left hip. Begin to open the chest up towards the sky. Lengthening the spine in both directions, coming to triangle. Reach the top arm high, take an inhale in. As you exhale, circle the wrist in one direction. And the other way. And then pause, flip the thumb towards the back wall. Sweep the hand behind your low back. Open the chest, roll the shoulder away from the jaw, look up high. Unless your neck is really cranky then Look down low. Three more breaths. Reach the top arm high, take a deep breath in. And exhale, release it down. Take your right hand and or block about 45 degrees up and out to the right side. Bend to the right knee, shift the weight forward. Bring the left leg back and up, toes face away from you towards the long side of the mat. Hip is opening. Option to take the left hand in the hip or reach the left arm high. Again, micro bending into the right knee. Pausing here. So if you're experiencing a lot here, just breathe. Otherwise, the next option is to bend that knee. Take the right, or excuse me, the left hand to the left ankle, and then open like a bow. Last full breath. And release slowly and easy, foot to foot, forward fold. Take an inhale in, lift up halfway. Exhale, we fold. Press down into your feet, inhale, rise up. Exhale, hands behind your back pockets, your imaginary pockets, roll the shoulders back. Inhale, lift up through the heart. Exhale, press the hips and belly slightly forward. Inhaling back up, arms reach up high. Exhale, hands to the mat. Inhale, look up halfway. Shift your weight over into your left foot. Bring the right heel to the right sit bone. So that little flamingo. Micro bend into the left knee. Slowly step the right foot back. Set the heel down. Toes slightly forward. Keep a bend in the front knee to start. Roll the left hip bone back, right hip bone forward. Straighten the left knee. Press down into your left big toe. Keep the alignment of your hips. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, bowing down, long belly, long spine. As much effort as you are giving into the front foot, can you also give to the back foot. 
where can you release some tension while still maintaining integrity in the body? Inhale, look up halfway. Exhale, left hand, excuse me, right hand. I did that the first time too. Right hand to hip. Open the chest. Triangle pose, lengthening from the spine in both directions. Roll the left quadricep and thigh bone away. So externally rotating. Long side bodies. Option to reach the top arm high. And circle the wrist. away from you. Sweep the hand behind the low back. Open the chest. Look up high. Reach the top arm high. Take a deep breath in. Exhale. Release. Take your left hand in or block up about 45 degrees to the side left the mat. Bend into the left knee, shift the weight forward, right leg sweeps back and up, toes face towards the long side of the mat. Option to bring the right hand to your hip or right arm high. To keep a nice balance here, look down at the floor or to challenge yourself, look up high. You can stay as you are, or take the little candy cane, bring the knee in, grab hold of the ankle, and open like a bow. Slowly release, foot to foot, forward fold. Take a deep breath in. Exhale it out. Oh, yes. Shake the head. Yes. Shake it. No. Inhale. Look up halfway. Exhale. Refold. Set the blocks to the side. Downward facing dog. Option to flow through vinyasa of choice. We're going to meet in seated. However that works for you. So whatever way makes sense, coming to seated. Once you come to seated, extend the legs out in front of you and shake them out. Okay. Bend your knees in halfway, feet as wide as the mat. Rest your hands behind you and slowly windshield wiping side to side. Next time your knees fall to the right, pause there and come up to seated. Align your legs here in 90 degree angles. So a stag or flag stance. Turn to face your front knee. Reach the arms up high, take a deep breath in. As you exhale, left hand to the right knee, right hand behind you. Roll the back shoulder away, look behind you. Gently come out just a little bit so that you start to face the right knee and towards the right corner of your mat. And slowly walk it down. You can stay up on your hands or lower onto your forearms. Or you can even stack the palms and hands and rest the head down. Taking five deep breaths. up and down the spine, manually telling the body to calm down. And slowly begin to press 
rest yourself up. Turn towards your legs. And then press out through your left heel. Bring the right foot in towards the body. Reach the arms up high. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, lean up and over to the left leg. Right arm up and over. Ground down through your right sitting bone. Shrug the right shoulder away from the ear. And breathe deeply into the side right ribs. Extend the right leg out in front of you and bring the hands forward. Inhale, lengthen the spine, look up. And exhale, slowly walk it forward and down. Keep the knees and the feet facing towards the sky rather than rolling in. More external rotation from the hips. You're welcome to stay up on your hands. Here, I'll scoot back so you can see me. You can stay up on your hands. Or lower to your forearms or if it's available walk it all the way out three more breaths slowly start to walk your way back up And then bend your left knee. Roll the right hip bone forward. Bend the right knee. So you're coming to a flag or stag stance on the other side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, right hand to the left knee. Left hand behind you. Look over the back shoulder. just a bit so that you're facing the left knee. Inhale, lengthen the spine and exhale, walking it down, long belly, finding that place where you're supported and allowing the head and neck to relax so that you can bring your awareness to the breath and to the sensations of the body. Slowly walk yourself back up. Press the right leg out. Left sole of the foot in towards the body. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, side body lean to the right. Shrug the shoulder down. Left sit bone grounds down. Breathe deep into the side, left ribs. Bring the right foot in to meet the left. If it's available to you, scoot yourself closer towards the heels. If it's not, that's fine too. Or if you find that the knees are popping up a lot away from the earth, like this, take blocks underneath the knees so you're bringing the earth to you. Place your hands down on your ankles or your feet. Take an inhale, lengthen the spine. And exhale, bowing down. Relax so it can be relaxed. And soften through the breath. Use your inhale, 
rise all the way up and release the legs shake them out bend the knees about halfway in feet and legs still stay together feel the toes back give your thighs a hug Lift the sternum up towards the tops of the knees so you have a nice long spine and long belly. You want the belly to stay over the thighs as you walk the heels forward, inch by inch, nice and slow. When the belly starts to pull away, that's the stopping point for you. If you can go further and keep the belly flat, you can always grab the feet or you can take a block underneath the feet and hold on to the block. So find what works for you. When you get there, release your head and neck. Shoulders away from the ears, heart lifting towards the knees. Take five deep breaths. to the mat, reach the arms forward, make sure nothing's behind you in your way, make sure you're bolstering your blanket or your thigh, and actually go ahead and take that bolster and place it underneath your knees, we'll just go ahead and head on there, okay, so make sure nothing's behind you, slowly roll it down, and scoot your bum closer to your bolster, so that the back can relax here, and the knees can rest over the, bol the bolster, excuse me. If there's anything else that you need in your practice before you can rest, pause this video, take some time to do so, whatever it may be. You may consider doing some more twists to get that spine nice and compensated for. Or if you're ready, we're gonna head towards Shavasana. So finding a comfortable position here, legs on the bolster, bring your arms along your sides, but first grab your blanket, set it on top of you, get real cozy. Or if you don't want the blanket, you can ditch the blanket, and same goes with the bolster. We just wanna get really comfy here and support our time of rest. Arms on the floor, palms flipped upwards, walk the shoulder blades closer towards one another, and relax the spine heavy. Take a deep, full breath in. And sigh it out. Drop the tongue away from the roof of the mouth. Let the eyes get heavy. Soft breath. Soft body. Bringing conscious awareness to any tension that you're holding on to, wherever that may reside in your body. And allow yourself to begin letting those things surrender. Consciously opening the heart space to compassion towards ourselves. Knowing that the body is designed to take shapes and patterns from our habits, sometimes unconsciously, most of the time unconsciously. So consciously becoming aware of the shape of ourselves and giving permission soften, to let things be as they are, with a sense of ease and calm. And when the mind 
starts to pull you away back to the harsh realities of our world, to-do list, fears, anxieties, things we've got going on. When the mind starts to pull us away, notice that you're being distracted and then calmly, compassionately return back to the soft breath and softening the body every time. Sensing the weight of the body and feeling the floor and earth underneath you. Begin to wiggle fingers slowly and toes as you gently begin to wake the body from its rest. Circle the wrist and ankles in both directions. Sway the head side to side. And then reach the arms up and back behind you. Take a big full body stretch. And then hug the knees into the chest. Draw circles one way. to one side, coming to a fetal position and pausing for just a moment. And then keeping the head and neck heavy, slowly press yourself up to seated. Take as much time as you need to. And if you're still resting in Shavasana, feel free to pause the video return when you're ready. To seal up our practice together, bring the hands together, rub them together. And rest the thumbs at heart center. Sit up tall, sit up well, close the eyes, bow the head low. Take a deep, full breath in and a deep exhale out. May all 
all beings everywhere be happy and free. And may the thoughts, words, and actions of my own life contribute to that happiness and that freedom for all. Thank you all so much for your time. Thank you for your efforts. Thank you for showing up for yourself. May each of you walk through the rest of your day with an open, spacious heart to pierce through all things and find that truth and that love and compassion for yourself and for everyone else. Shanti. Namaste.